To prevent valuable excess energy from being wasted, modern hydraulic solutions offer the possibility of storing and later using it. The hydraulic flywheel, HFW, from Rexroth recuperates unused and excess energy and makes it available just when and where it is needed. The function module itself is located on the combustion engine and consists of a variable axial piston unit, a hydraulic pressure accumulator, a valve control block with pressure regulator valve, and an electronic BODAS controller. With the HFW system design, recuperation of energy from the travel drive as well as from the implement hydraulics is possible. We will now take a look at the typical work cycle of an excavator. The digging depth is approximately 2 meters. The filled bucket is raised, while at the same time the upper structure turns. After approximately 90 degrees, the bucket is emptied above the truck. It then returns to the starting position and the cycle begins all over again. In the cycle just demonstrated, the hydraulic pump of the implement hydraulics essentially generates the necessary drive power for the individual movements. The implement hydraulics pump is thus the principal load for the combustion engine. There is the following distinct point of operation for the torque generated by the implement hydraulic pump. The load on the combustion engine varies considerably, depending on the movements just carried out. The combustion engine must follow with the corresponding dynamic. In doing so, it changes its operating points constantly and works closer or further away from its optimal operating point, which results in varying efficiency. Here is where the HFW hydraulic flywheel brings its clear efficiency advantages to bear. The accumulator is charged or discharged, while the axial piston unit of the HFW module takes up or gives off torque at the combustion engine shaft. There are now two principal systems operating at the combustion engine. One is the implement hydraulics, which primarily influences the load on the combustion engine. And the other is the HFW, which can influence the load, but also provides the drive torque. The challenge is to control the hydraulic flywheel in such a way that, on the one hand, in periods of low combustion engine load, the power troughs of the implement hydraulics, the combustion engine is additionally charging the HFW and energy is hydraulically stored in the interim. And that, on the other hand, in periods of high combustion engine load, for example, the power peaks of the implement hydraulics, the combustion engine is supported by the HFW. The hydraulic flywheel thus evens out the power required from the combustion engine and keeps it ideally constant. In a conventionally designed combustion engine, the rated torque is selected on the basis that it can deal with the power peaks, depicted here as a broken line. Using a HFW system eliminates these performance peaks, so that a smaller rated torque is sufficient. This opens up the possibility of downsizing. Should power smoothing, and thus a downsizing, be of secondary importance, HFW can be used alternatively. It can be used for engine rated power. This boost function means more overall power while using the same combustion engine. In addition to downsizing and a boost function, HFW also makes energy recuperation possible. Instead of the combustion engine, the hydraulic flywheel breaks the load of a slewing gear in the closed circuit, or even of an entire vehicle. The braking energy is converted into hydraulic energy by filling an accumulator. Under power, the pressurized accumulator is emptied. The oil flows through the axial piston unit, which is now acting as a motor, and assists the combustion engine. Hydraulic energy is converted back into kinetic energy.